Okay, back with MBR, and this is just a short video on understanding other people and how they're coming at or pushing on the whole coronavirus thing or any illnesses or any situations. But I see in the coronavirus, if you say something about it, we're dismissive as that I would be because it's all a load of baloney to me because. As I say in neuroscience, what it shows is if you have the beliefs that you're okay and that everything and you've heavy cell, heavy body, well being, and that it can't affect you, then practically it can't. Um, and it's shown that it, it, it's not a living force, it grows and attaches to your cells and then grows off how the cell is functioning. So if it's a negative cell, it's obviously going to be explode this cell and attach on to others and, and increase negative health or if it's a positive cell it's only going to increase you as a being strengthening you but the whole thing is is where I see the dismissive side of things is what people are when people see that you're being dismissive because you have an understanding and went and learned about this situation, found the knowledge on it. If people are listening to media, radio and all the news and all that are out there and running off that, but they're not looking for the actual facts of the matter of how these things are functioning. They're just listening to results of deaths, uh, of the viruses there, the viruses in the air, the outcome of many deaths as has happened, it doesn't say that this has all happened because of the coronavirus because they don't even know if it was the coronavirus that killed all them people that has died. That is not fact. That is nowhere near fact. Um, because many of these people are dying every year that are not mentioned. And it still comes down that the cold kills as many people still. So, when people are coming out and saying, oh, children are dying of this and um, just normal people and all this, I do find people, and I can't say for fact, but running off things that I've seen in the news and that, and then how people are, and seeing the outcome of the overall outcome of it, and so far, uh, how what difference it has made and it hasn't made a big pile of difference at all uh, if you've done your research or been into things like I've been into in a certain way you'll notice this past years that has gone by these amount of people are dying all the time um, and it's not been made aware of now, whether this goes forward or not, I don't know. Whether more people die and it does become something more. It would be all because of the fear factor that is put into you because of that. And with that fear factor, people are going around adding to the story. So when you're denying this is a load of crap, saying that basically, they're saying, Oh, but it's not just sick people, or this one got this, or this one got that. At the end of the day, no matter if you think they were sick or not, or the news thought they were sick, you don't know. But I can tell you, going by the facts of it through science, that the fact of the matter is, if they did get it, and they were carrying it, and it did affect them where they turned sick or even more skin, they lost their life is because of the fact of how they thought and felt towards it. And this is fact in science. So if you're worried or scared or acting about the coronavirus, I'd suggest you just go and look the flipping thing up. It's that simple. Instead of stressing out over the news and listening to the news over and over again and worrying about it. Because it's not it is no benefit to you whatsoever. The only benefit is to look up and research it 
research what I've just told you and you will see that it is fact that it can't harm you unless it's in your beliefs and that way that you're thinking and feeling. Obviously someone with illness with their immune system isn't great anyway is going to be acceptable to that. So what you do is you work on getting a healthier immune system. So what do people do? You look up on how to get a healthier immune system. It's that simple. And I don't know why people try to make things hard. Well actually I do. It's the whole programming. And it's not your fault. It's the whole media. And once one's doing it and another's doing it and another's doing it, you start fitting into place and doing what everyone else is doing. Uh, by mixed messages that are not fact, that are just rumours, Chinese messages. And then you keep adding on to it with more bullshit, basically. Putting other stories onto what you've heard, adding wee bits and pieces and the further it goes, the more flipping accumulated or bigger that it of bullshit that it does seem to be. I'm not saying the whole coronavirus is, but what I'm saying is how it can affect you. Now, as I said, the coronavirus there, whether it's 5G or coronavirus or whatever it is, what it's been shown in science is it isn't a living force. It's pretty much nothingness but it has that potential to grow within you to destroy you or make you better basically it changes your genetics and if your genetics aren't strong enough to take that by your immune system then yes you can get it and how do you keep your immune system belief trust faith love in yourself Feeling healthy, being healthy, doing everything you can to be healthy. And that's how you stay healthy from the coronavirus. Use your brain. You don't listen to all that's out there. Use your brain and look up that knowledge. And find it's there, it's everywhere to be seen. And I'm sorry if this has come across a wee bit aggressiveness or something because I've sworn of it because it does in a way seem a bit I, I want to do help you out there and it, 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 in a way when I'm thinking of it and I try not to think of the coronavirus at all and I try not to do much videos or anything on that because I, it's a negative side of things but I want people to get out of that side of things in a bit of a positive way but and it does become I suppose I get into my ego and it becomes a wee bit offensive uh, and it's not meant that way it's meant for you to open up that awareness within yourself and stop being carried on by your ego by how you're being programmed by the media um, I'm here to try to help you to understand it whether you've got an element or not you know in what way to take it by researching it and going and looking in what's best for you and one thing that, that is not good for you is worrying about it. And then carrying on stories, talking about it, going on and on and on and on. You, what you need to do is forget about it and move on and talk about things in everyday life that you would normally have dealt with and still dealing with. Um, you don't look at the coronavirus as anything, it's just something that's there without having it's the same way as when you're meditating and thoughts that arise. It's just thoughts. And that's what it is. And you let it pass by and when it's over they're gone. And you deal with the coronavirus in that way too. Well, as I say, do your own research for I don't know what your half is like, whether it's good, bad or in there in the middle or whatever, I don't know. But you know. You know how you're feeling and how you're being. So you can do your research and how to increase your immune system and it's so many simple ways like breathing techniques, meditation, yoga, exercising, 
eating healthy. All these kind of things is what's good for you. And you know the kind of things that's going to affect you uh, in another opposite negative way is anything that draws stress to the body. And what's doing that? The media be making you worry about it. So you got to understand all that. And once you can understand it, maybe you can start to look at yourself and see, oh, well, maybe I am alright. And even though I am alright, maybe it could increase my health even better. And start doing things that make you have her. Because in the world, in the first place anyway, there's that problem with oh, obesity anyway. Um, and it's not the people's fault um, that is overweight that. And in a way it is their choice. But the programmed into it, you're programmed into a system to make you be that way. It's not your fault, it's the whole media of everything. It's like when you see chocolate biscuits or something like that there and the whole colouring of packaging, how it's labelled, everything's designed to attract you to grab that and eat it. And that goes right down to the taste. But the chemicals that's put in it isn't cured for your body. So get that way of thinking and understanding of everything that everything is marketed for you to be a certain way so you're in, well you're controlled by the media by labeling everything's labeled and packaged in certain ways just the same way as you are it's like when you've got like a security number national insurance number and then the government that you've been labelled and controlled. So I just want you to understand that and look at yourself, see what's best approach for you and what you can do for yourself. Um, this might be a really short video, I went on a bit too long, but it's only because I'm passionate about it and I'm passionate about the love and joy and people being happy and healthy and well-being and not being conned into thinking that oh if we go out through the door we're going to get sick or why would you even think that way it's it's more mental in to think that way than to go on thinking positive that is making people Go mental, that's what that is. In in a way, uh, taking them away from the true reality. But that ha that's happening every day, we're taken away from the true reality of everything. True physical, seeing things physical, where it's not physical. It's a combination of non-physical and physical, and you don't get the physical without the non-physical. Okay, as I say, this is meant to be a short video. Hopefully you get the gist of how everything's functioning in that way and not to carry it on. Uh, don't look at it as anything because it is nothing until it attaches itself to you and then follows the impact of growing in the way that your cell is, whether it be a negative or a positive. And that's just putting it in simple form. So if you're a negative cell, well then it's only going to grow and increase and explode and catch on to other cells and keep doing the same thing until you're sick. Positive, then you'll be alright. In fact, what will happen is you will increase your immune system by the genetics. You're changing. You'll be able to adapt to that. And the fact of the matter is, this is what the body is made for. Your body is made for this kind of thing. This virus, your body is designed for to fight it. In how you're feeling and being, by being healthy and well. In how you're thinking, to begin with. And your body is designed this way. And this is scientific fact. 
your body is designed to defeat the likes of these viruses because it is nothing it's you that's designing it whether it be bad or positive or negative or positive it's you that makes that outcome in how you're being so hopefully you get this and don't be worried too much about things and obviously stay safe in your well-being if you have to stay indoors or whatever stay indoors but don't take it too far uh, and be stressed and worrying about it. get on with your life and live a happy one this is mind body reprogramming and thank you for watching please hit subscribe and hit the bell if you like my videos thank you